Welcome to Farmer's Breakfast Show right here from County 034. Your host, Noah Nasiali Kadima and... Uh, James Mirara. James, I'm going to say that. What do you think? I'm going to say that. 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 Welcome to Farmer's um, Breakfast Show right here where we help you in the industry to connect, learn and grow. We want to grow, always to grow together and this way we can be able to cut some of those that we don't need in the industry who reduce our profits. Tunasema tunatafuta pesa lakini hashtag yangu ilichukuliwa acha tutuache hapo. Tafuta pesa na tuweke pesa mfukoni. Yes, we want to help you as a farmer be able to grow and just not growing but grow in the right direction. So today we will be discussing about record keeping the right and the wrongs. What are the important goals, uh, records that you need to keep? In fact, why do you need to start keeping records? We have shared a poll on Africa Farmers Club where we have asked as a farmer which records are important. And we are seeing the responses coming very, very fast. And uh, we will be sharing this in the course of the show. Remember to follow our social media handles, A Farmers Media on YouTube, A Farmers underscore on Instagram and a farmers media on Facebook as well as a, a farmers on Twitter and let us know where you're watching us from what are you doing what are you growing why are you growing what you're growing and we will be sharing some ways that you as you watch you can be able to share and win we'll be having some goodies that we'll be sharing with you guys out there Mirara yes sir is weekend Hata tunisema imekuwa fupi kwangu au ndogo. Eh eh ndogo. Ni mambo ya direct translation wachana hapa. Imekuwa fupi. Eh eh bara enjoy. Eh eh nimetembea. Eh eh nimepatana na farmers wengi wanateta kule nje. Wanasema nini bwana? Nasema bei zimeenda juu. Eh wengi ukiwauliza actually today's topic. Yes about record keeping. Yes. Nilifika mahali nikajiuliza ha farmers tumejisa hao kabisa ah wana record keeping akona ukimuuliza hii ulipanda lini akumbuki akumbuki and you know that is one of the things that we say if you don't have some records well yeah chances are you will not remember some things sure and if you don't remember some things it means your cost of production is automatically high standard yeah because what you can't measure you can't manage even uh, it's not uh, basically like you tell them it's high uh -huh. they don't know yes uh, maybe they overspend on yes. their production uh -huh. and go get losses yes at the end of the day yes. when selling their product yes so uh -huh. today uh -huh. uh, we'd like to ambia to farm ukweli yes ukweli hitu ukweli kama makosa ni yake ni makosa ni yake tusidanganyane yes yeah unasema tusidanganyane <laughs> Don't let's not talk about politics. Let's educate the farmer. Yes. But we'll touch uh, on politics a few. Pole pole. Yeah. Yes. So what we are discussing today is record keeping the rights and the wrongs. What records do you need to keep? Why do you need to keep the records? And then most very importantly, how do you how will you keep those records? We will be talking about an app from a friend of farmers who was actually who is also a farmer who started off because of COVID. Yeah. But the, uh, the, how it started was very interesting. Um, mm -hmm interesting journey and we will share some of this part of this journey where we as a farmers are also playing a very important role in making sure that you as a farmer can keep your records right if you have an in, it's a, if you have a project that you're actually doing in the in the agricultural sector you can also be able to use this app and see how you can manage it if you have uh, agronomists that who are actually doing this you can be able to share that as well so it is record keeping we are using record keeping si kama nini si kama anaitwaje si kama at tool at yeah. technology tool no yeah. it's basically the normal thing ni important yes yeah. exactly it's like when you wake up and brush your teeth you don't say at oh you know i brushed my teeth with oral b toothpaste ile ya kuchapa maji unaweka unalia unatupa tumesema you wake up brush your teeth yeah as a farmer keep your records you brush your teeth drink the tea or the breakfast yes and then go to the farm the same thing with the 
So you need to actually have that documented record of yeah. what, what time people entered the farm, walifanya kazi gani. Now you, it, it has to match again as what you said you will do. do. Sure. Because you have a plan for a whole year. It's the farmer's diary. Exactly. Asia Jara. Yamukulima. <laughs> yes. And so as we yeah. discuss this, we want to let we want to tell you that uh, we want to make sure that you are continuing to be healthy and safe. And one of the ways that you can be able to do this is to make sure that you get the COVID vaccine. Why? Because this is important for your health. A healthy farmer is a healthy nation. Because you cannot go to your farm if you are not healthy. Yeah, sure. It is impossible. Ni uongo kabisa. Awezi wenda. Awezi. Awezi. Auto toka kwa nyumba. Utaweza vipi. Aje. You can't. You know, so make sure that you get the COVID vaccine, courtesy of Producer Direct, sending you this message, of who, who actually work a lot with farmers. So this is a message proudly brought to you by Producers Direct for farmers by farmers. Just make sure that you do this constantly. You know, Something else that we want to talk about today as we discuss about record keeping is that why do you need to keep records? Mirara, what do you need to keep records? Kwa nini tuweke records? Kwa maoni yako, unaona wakulima na faa weke records kwa nini? Uh, record, kwanza ni records zipi tunaweka? What Kuna couple? record uh-huh. uh, aina nyingi za farmers. Yes. Kuna mwenye mchu, mfugaji wa mifugo. Karibu za mchungaji wa mifugo. <laughs> <laughs> there is a farmer who keeps livestock. Yes. He need breeding uh-huh. uh, records. Yes. Uh, there is also identification yes. of those animals. Exactly. There is also feeding uh, uh, of those animals. Yes na kuna diseases kabisa so these farmers uh, needs to know mm. when how and what what to keep to keep and for who yeah sure Unjo, you can keep records for yourself uh, we are yes. talking of farm <laughs> yes oh yeah your farm your own farm records for your own references yeah but you can also and also to remember all those things exactly. and not to overdo them. Even for the market, because we will we'll pick a dawa gani, you know, yeah. we'll dawa gani. No, we'll pick a dawa leo kesho unapeleka. Exactly. Yeah. And so, we have a special message that we'll be sharing with you from, from Markup about pesticide spray. Yeah. So they need to keep those records. Mm. For the farmer who is uh, on the on the f- uh, crops and stuff, mm-hmm. they need to know when to, uh, to, spray. to spray. And so what to spray. They need to keep those records. Clear. Yes. Why do you need to spray? Yeah. Yes. And uh-huh. to remember those uh, when the last time they sprayed. Exactly. So uh, these records are very necessary, mm-hmm. and they need to be uh, kept in a way that see at the farm a pekiyake and You may have some employees in the farm. Yes. You need to keep reminding them. Yes. They also uh, can forget. Yeah. And they forget. Hey, they they, in do fact, for- they don't they don't keep. <laughs> <laughs> they forget. <laughs> you need to keep these records wangalie na hivi na hivi kesho unampigia simu hata si kesho namwambia eh sales kwaje viko salama kabisa umeandika yes two weeks later the book is new jamaa kutumia ama ingine anatumia lakini anaandika kila kitu anaandika ukipiga simu anaandika ile time unapiga simu ulisema nini ah but we want to see how we can be able to embrace technology in farming yeah. and see how best you can be able to do this. We have a tool that we'll be sharing out uh, later on. And um, for the traffic today, yes. uh, Tuanzia Nairobi. Kama kawa. Kama kawaida. Yes. Uh, Mombasa Road, it's thick, as in bumper to bumper. Uh, Langata Road, the same. Uh, Ngong Road, sasa hapo ndo mambo inaribiki. <laughs> Ngongro uh, uh, Lovington and Kileleshwa zimeshikana kushikana. Uh, Limuru Road vile vile. Yes. Uh, I think sasa Mombasa Road tutajenga barabara nyingine juu hiyo ambayo inajengwa. Uh, Mombasa Road iko mbaya. Yeah. Mimi hata sivyo watu kutoka Mombasa Road Mulolongo kitengela Machakos wanaenda mwa Nairobi kufanya nini? Sasa sisi wenyewe tunaingia Machakos. Unajua jana nilikuwa na Ah kuingia ni karibu. Kuingia ni vizuri. But kuingia town Nairobi CBD it's uh, <laughs> I think you can take if if you want to get to Nairobi early, <laughs> just wake up at three. Shout out my son. Mm-hmm. Asked me, Daddy, there's too much traffic on Mombasa Road. Mm-hmm. How long does it take from Mombasa Road to Westland? Like one like two hours. I can hear me. That's too long, because if somebody leaves Nairobi to go mm-hmm. to Mombasa, flying reaches mm-hmm. before the, and even starts eating food before even before, before the, the person who leaves Kitengela uh, going to Nairobi. Nairobi. And if you give you a that's too much work. And people go there to work. They do. 
<laughs> they do go there yeah, really you spend three hours on the road very interestingly uh huh but what again again uh very road vile vile imeshikana kushikana i think that's for now and uh for weather uh, i think i'll have to give them this well, but here, uh, nairobi uh will be cloud and sunny intervals mm-hmm. mombasa sunny intervals mm-hmm. with the temperature of uh 33 maximum mm-hmm. so leo tutapata joto kule kisumu sunny intervals eldoret sunny intervals uh-huh. nakuru sunny intervals nyeri at least this could uh, pair with nairobi uh-huh. cloud and sunny intervals yes marsabit joto kama kawaida joto kama kawaida aguna za dalili ya mvua marsabit i think tutaombea uh-huh. marsabit Kakamega sunny intervals, Garissa sunny intervals, Lamu sunny intervals. Joto imekuja na ndugu yake. Yaani basi walisema ya watu wa met pia wana enjoy. Walisema mvua itanyesha through. Walisema itanyesha. Kajiado our own and very county. One and only county. One and only county. Joto 30 degrees. Tutapata joto vile. But, but kutakuwa na ni pembe za mawingu. <laughs> <laughs> there will be clouds uh, and ponds. yeah <laughs> so that's the weather update for today yes yes yeah. yes yes so okay. as we are discussing this we will be getting into the discussion in a short while in terms of what records should you keep and if you're keeping the records what are the rights and the wrongs that we keep when you're keeping records mm-hmm. when you keep these records are very important things that you need to find out is first of all what records yeah sure umesema kuna breeding records kuna records tofauti tofauti kuna record tofauti tofauti yes so mimi niko na maswali ambayo nimeuliza kuna mm-hmm. swali uh, there are some questions we've asked there mm-hmm. as a farmer which records should you keep which records are important and we are seeing some some feedback there and we will be sharing some of this feedback in the next few minutes something else that we want to make sure that we are actually doing yeah and doing right ni kwamba where do you keep these records sure you know where do you keep this record is something very important and we'll be sharing something uh, as our, our directors actually playing something there we have a tool that we have uh, been in discussion with and this tool is called farmers networks as you can see on your screens farmers networks is a tool that we can be able to use as farmers uh, to be able to rec- to keep our records straight to be able to make sure that uh, these records are actually uh being kept in the right place in the right way and we in this in, in this process we want to make sure that it's not just records that we're putting we're putting records that can help you transform remember what we are doing is that we want to help farmers to be able to transform their farms into businesses and so the only way we can be able to do this is to make sure that when it comes to business what you do as a business is simply to be able to make sure that you as a farmer is keeping important information to be able to use in your farm we'll be taking a short break but before we go for the break we want to remember that as we keep on working we are using resources we are using energy we are using all that is required and we have to make sure that we are doing it the right way we're going for a short break and when we come back we'll discuss more on record keeping
Eggplant is an elongated shaped and dark purple fruit and its leaves are large ovate and slightly lobed. Eggplant is a perennial crop but grown commercially as annual. Eggplant grows best in well drained sandy loam or loam soil. The soil pH should be between 5.8 and 6.5 for best growth. Eggplant requires a regular watering and steadily warm growing conditions. Mahindi yamekuwa chakula kikuu katika sehemu nyingi za ulimwengu na jumla ya uzalishaji wa mahindi kuliko ile ya ngano au mchele. Mbali na kuwa mahindi ni chakula, pia hutumiwa kutengeneza ethanol, chakula cha wanyama na bidhaa zingine. Kunayo mahindi ya gome gome, mahindi ya ganda, yani popcorn, mahindi ya unga na mahindi matamu. Mahindi yanalimwa sana kote ulimwenguni na kiwango kikubwa cha mahindi hutolewa kila mwaka kuliko nafaka nyingine yoyote. Shamba la mahindi linaweza kutayarishwa kwa kutumia njia za kawaida au za kilimo cha uhifadhi. Kilimo cha kuhifadhi ni pamoja na kunyunyizia dawa za kuulia wadudu zilizopendekezwa na wataalam wa kilimo. Unaweza kutumia trekta au njia ya mikono kufanya kilimo cha mahindi. Ni muhimu kuandaa ardhi mapema ya kutosha kuruhusu magogo kukauka na kuoza kabla ya kupanda. Celery is a marshland plant that comes from the same family as carrots and parsley. It has long, firm and pale green fibrous stalks and grows in bunches of approximately 8 to 10 centimeters. The stalks taper into leaves at the top. When planting celery, it's best to ensure that the soil is enriched with compost and with a soil pH of between 5.8 to 6.8. It is also important for celery to grow in moisture retentive soil. Lastly but not the least, select a site that receives full and direct sunlight. Celery needs about 130 to 140 days to mature between seedling and harvest. Growing celery is generally considered to be an ultimate vegetable gardening challenge. It's easy to grow but has very specific needs. Spinach is a dark leafy vegetable that originated in Persia. Spinach is a superfood as it is loaded with tons of nutrients in a low calorie package. Spinach has been used by various cultures throughout the history. Spinach is a versatile vegetable and can be eaten raw or cooked. It can be incorporated quite easily in any diet as it is cheap and easy to prepare.
Welcome back to a farmer's breakfast show right here from County 034. Today we're discussing records. Which are the important records to keep? Why should you keep these records? And most importantly, what records should you be keeping? But before that, we have a newspaper review and we have two, two interesting information that we wanted to share with you out there. One is for the tea, tea farmers. Tea farmers, we can see that very interestingly, tree prices has dropped marginally as auction records increased supply, meaning that we've had a higher supply. So the tree has grown down. Um, East African Tea Trade Association, IATA, say that the price of the beverage per kilogram decreased to 282 from 283. Can you introduce now, Bob? Nani news? <laughs> 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 the decline in price in the latest auction was occasioned by high volumes during the sale, which was 309,000 uh, more when compared to the previous trading. And the traders normally withdraw tea from the auction flow when the prices are down but offer it back for sale in subsequent auctions seeking to gain from higher buying bids. T in also an auction. At the same time, quality is doing it. It's just auction. The highest bidder. Uh, I would say mm. we have the largest farms. Yes. In Kenya. Yes. For tea growers, uh. we have in Kericho, mm -hmm. Kisi, mm -hmm. Moranga, Limuru. Ata ata go western as game. Sino sijata ya kila mahali. You see, uh, if we if we can do well mm -hmm. now as the uh, government or something, yes, we can come there best country for importation it's funny you know yeah. but anyway sawa 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 kabisa sawa sawa kabisa tunaendelea kutetea farmers yes until the day their cry will come to an end very interesting yeah. uh, something else that we wanted to share with you is that um, that there's shortage of raw materials uh, in uh, that is one of the things that is causing uh, the prices of food to be high so we will share that as well as we do this uh, prices of coffee is also reducing so we have this shortage of raw materials that sees that is help is, is making the price of food actually go high, and uh, the reason for this is that uh, one of the companies that has actually has come out, come out clear and said uh, that is Unga Group is the latest to one of inadequate supplies of wide range of commodities including maize, wheat, and soybean. Shangana'i. Millers are struggling with low supplies of the staple maize, in particular a move that has seen the price of two kilo packet of flour jump from 108 shillings mm -hmm. to 126 shillings. Yani maize flour iko karibu na same na chapo. Hata itapita. Shida tu hizi pika sasa chapo because sasa mafuta ni expensive. Yeah. Hey. Price of, of animal and human feed are set to rise further in the coming months as shortages of raw materials continue to bite. Raw material prices are expected to remain high for the rest of the financial year. That is up to June 2022, Kabla Kura, Kabla elections. Then this may worsen the already soaring human, food, and animal feed price situation. Kenya households are set to feel the impact of rising cost of flour as maize stocks from Tanzania and Uganda, which play a significant role are dwindling. Very interesting. Something else that in the, in the dailies, um, farmers to, farmers deliver more milk to processors on higher prices. Very interesting. That's a, That's nice. What is the disconnect? Because uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, data from uh, KNBS, that is Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, shows that formal sector recorded an intake of 802 million liters of milk in 2021 compared to 684 million the same the year before. That is in 2020. The government through Kenya Dairy Board introduced a minimum price of 33 shillings a liter. That is fantastic. Yeah. A liter payable to the farmers on milk deliver to processors. The informal milk market accounts for over 80% of the milk that is traded in the country, mm -hmm. leaving processors with few quantities for processing. Meaning, lazima to import to come cheese and the rest. Yeah. And we can make our own cheese. Like in the and the produce need less. Yeah. Very interesting. So the uh, last bit is just to make is is that uh, 
Very interesting. Coffee prices fall sharply in the latest weekly auction. Coffee tea prices are, are dropping down. The Nairobi Stock Exchange um, say that the price this week decreased from uh, 36,000 shillings, 36,160 shillings to 39,996 shillings that was recorded for sale of a 50 kilogram bag. The decline is attributed to lower value that the premium grades fetched during the auction held on Tuesday. The value of Kenya's top grade coffee double A also dropped to 38,000 from 40,000 realized during the same year, the previous trading for a 50 kilogram bag. Very interesting. So those are the news, uh, the, what is in the news. We want to jump now straight. There's a very beautiful farm that we saw that we would like to share with you. This is Dalan Farm. So this farm, we'll ask the, our director to put the picture up of this particular farm and it's a very interesting farm because this farm was a result of covid mm -hmm. there is the farm that is there we will be sharing again some images just in a, in a short while was a, 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 a result of covid and as a result of covid the farm came up it took shape you know uh, it's called dalan farm it took shape it's fantastic it's very clean but there are some aspects that required to be checked how do you maintain that farm? One is by keeping the right records. So now we want to jump in and just find ourselves and get to know what are this, what is the importance of keeping farm records in agricultural production? Mr. No, yes. I'd like to read something. Yes. Hey, when uh, you, when you talk, <laughs> me, no, me, me I, I like how you've, <laughs> you've come with, uh, with the talk about yes. keeping records. Yes. There is someone who is saying, uh -huh. keeping full record mm -hmm. just for the sake of keeping them yes. is a waste of time and energy. But Kabisa, very true. Very and then continues and say, uh -huh. a little time spent keeping a few records yes. orderly yes. that will be used in a good, is a good investment uh -huh. in, ma in managing the farm business. Exactly. Because you know, what's an economic mm -hmm. to Moja? The only way you can be able to make sure that you're doing the right thing yeah. is if you can measure that mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, sure. Because if you cannot measure it, then how will you manage? Always talk up of someone and a home. Now, na, how do you come up with bus fare? Yeah, I'm a fool. Exactly. Yeah. At least for your girls, you're going to. No, kuna zingine ni azisongi. Oh, zero zero kachi ni maka. The part of me is. Aye, zisonga. Umai panda taxi. Unoliza mbona igeji kochini. Ati geji kochini, imezoe ya kukachini. Imezoe ya kukachini. So kupanda ni shida. Ni shida. Pressure. So you need a good planning method. Very interesting. And keeping record here, you feel, knowing that this will take me to this point. So the farmer needs to keep those records for a good investment. Yes. And managing the farm business. Yes. And also, it's particularly important with the records to know yeah. Uh, how to prepare mm -hmm. or to to curb the difficulties yes. that are uh, forthcoming yes. in the farm. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see, the, the 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 thing that most of the time, Mirara, yeah, is that farmers are ex excited to start farming. Mm -hmm. So what they keep is one one part of the records, how much they are spending. Yeah. They're and how how long do they keep that? The, or, because I I, I believe yeah, they keep that in their mind. Either in the mind or in the kitabu or in But see your kitabu is a potaya skumoda. No, my grandfather was a farmer and yes. he's also a farmer. Yeah. He, he does uh, layers uh -huh. and chickens. <laughs> but an well. andikaga kwa karatasi. Mm -hmm. Inaeko pale chini ya meza. Alafu saa kuna dinia mtu anakuja anapanguza yu meza. Anachukua so yu karatasi. The waka, the waka anakuja ah, kakisafisha. Yeah. He, he anatumia kwa shajiko. <laughs> you see, uh, you, you need to keep them. Uh, also in mind, yes. uh, he, he can remember mm -hmm. uh, barely a week. Yeah, because you see those things. Eh? And, and most people, mm -hmm. let's say a month, mm -hmm. let's assume they remember up to a month. Yes. After a month, bus. Now you can <laughs> you remember you 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 are keeping records, yeah. but you are not using the records because uh, you, because you cannot access those records when you need them. Sure. So one of the things that we want to make sure is that to understand, for for example, why it is why it's important. Mm -hmm. The benefits number one is that it it may be a requirement. For example, you might have taken a loan, or you want to take a loan, and they ask you, can we see your records? Yeah. 
what what do you do what do you use on your farm and stuff like that yeah. the other one it helps you in uh, better farm planning and forecasting any yeah. plan on Juliza what will I do at this time what will I you know what will I be growing uh, what quantities what acreage will I be doing the other one is it helps you track your income and expenditure basically how what are you putting in what are you spending what are your profits you know farm is an office yeah and when you introduce the weaknesses in that business mm -hmm. there's no strength of knowing where your profits will come yes and also okay, last week i had a meeting with some uh, with 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 uh, someone from uh, from equity bank yeah and uh, what she was telling us is that the, the record keeping is very important sure especially as as, as the owner of the farm why is and we'll be hosting her in the show mm -hmm. one of these few days fine days and one of the things that she said very mm -hmm. critically was just number one, what is this thing that you do that you can tell people you do financially? True. You know, how do you say that you're running a business and you don't, you cannot document that business properly? Like, oh, you know, this is what we're planting now. These are the quantities. Some of that is actually one of the challenges farmers are facing yeah. going to market. So we don't have a quantity of mm quantity. -hmm. But since you don't have records of even previously what you did the previous sure. years, you cannot be able to tell that. Also, uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. what if an investor wants to invest in your business? Yes. You cannot show something exactly. that is... Uh, to show yes. uh, that you've recorded or you've taken uh, data mm -hmm. uh, to show to the investor. Yes, because yeah. the world sees in zeros and ones, you know. And we'll be sharing mm -hmm. an image right now, just that image of a very beautifully done farm. Yeah. And uh, that farm is now what I will be talking about in a few in a few seconds. Yes, there we go. We have it up. Better management of a farm. So someone who keeps records on seed germination rates, on seeds purchased, is in a better position to select seeds for seasons. As you look at that farm, that farm is a very beautiful farm. And so in case of livestock, as we just keep that picture up, in case of livestock, the farm should keep records of pests, diseases, feed types, and consumption. The same with if you're doing a, a crops. You should also keep a record of pests, diseases, the types of fertilizer, nutrition, uh, the labor, con how, whatever has, is, is being used out there. These records help to prevent control of pests, diseases, and provide bets, bets, best feed for optimum performance, best fertilizer, nutrition for optimum yields. Spending just 10 minutes per day updating records will save you time and money. So this is very important. But as we as we talk about this, what are these farming records that you should be able to keep? We have shared a poll on Africa Farmers Club, which again we want to talk about it in the next few minutes, and we see what are these records that farmers are actually saying that they want to keep. You know, so some of the it's just looking at the feedback that has come through. This is in, from Africa Farmers Club. Those who are watching, continue uh, participating in the poll. We have. Um, Millie, Millie Abila, Millie Abila says that uh, all the records are important, but which which are all these records, you know? So, uh, number one, we are seeing quite a number of you saying that production records are very important. Yes, production records are very, very important. You know, uh, something else that, uh, Mirara, you can see, so many people mm. are actually saying, yes, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> these records are very important. Let us see uh, what others are saying. Uh, yes, so others are saying that, um, yeah, financial records are very important, very true, very true. Human resources, uh, it is important. Yes, it is very important, very, very important as well. The other thing that, uh, there's, a, there's a comment that has actually come through that we will be talking about it as we pro progress, is th this is wrongly put. All the records are important. Mm -hmm. But now, ile swali ni, ni gani ya muhimu kuliko nyingine? Very important, yeah. yes. But now, before we do this, we want to share some message from United Nations Industrial Development Organization with markup, market access, market upgrade access, upgrade program, markup. And they have special messages for the next few weeks and months for we as farmers as well as agro dealers. And today's message is very interesting. Proper use of pesticides leads to a healthy and wealthy nation. 
shows effects on health of family members. This is important because it is our responsibility starting with we as farmers to be able to make sure that food safety is actually being observed. We are producing safe and healthy food. But we can only do that if we actually use pesticides in the right way. So make sure that when you do this, you are uh, observing all the protocols that are required in terms of how to wear the 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 the, the, the masks. Obviously, wear the the gown. Kuna yeah. gown again. I gonna jota my friend. Kuna katini weva yo gown. I gonna jota. But you, how you can be able to 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 go around it is make sure you do it very early mornings or very late in the evenings when yeah. it's not too hot. And why this is important, again, as, as, I, as, I, as I bring out again, is that the proper use of pesticide leads to a healthy nation. This message has been brought to you by Market Access Upgrade Program, MACAP, under United Nations Industrial Development Organization, in partnership with other organizations like KEFIS, PCPB, which we will be having some of the experts from this organization coming in studio to share with us some insights on terms of how can farmers be able to observe this, how can agro dealers be able to do this. And as we finish the show later on, as be, before we finish the show, we'll actually play a clip about safe use of pesticide. So back to the discussion, Merara. Yes, sir. Kuna topic up in some. Hey, manita, yes, sir. Come to Jesh. There's a comment here by Okeyo Oyugi. Mm -hmm. Okeyo Oyugi says this. This 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 uh, very interesting. He says this is wrongly put. A record of all things happening on the farm mm -hmm. is important. You sure. cannot select some and leave some. How, for example, how do you get production records if you don't have harvesting records? True. Very important. Very important. Very important. And as we discuss this today. What are production records? So production records, Kwanza, ni, these are records that actually you as a farmer needs to understand that these particular records are, 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 are records that help you determine what a courage, not actually determine, actually document what a courage, what plants, number of plants, mm -hmm. what uh, fertilizer you are using, you know. Basically the whole management of the farm. Ile f from from your idea to the nursery to mm -hmm. the seed to production just before harvesting. Uh -huh. So that is all. Those are the mm -hmm. those are the, the essential records, you know. Mm -hmm. So as we do this, we want to share some 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 insights. We want to dive in a bit deeper. Again, this is a farmers uh, breakfast show right here from County Zero Thirty Four, and we're discussing money in form of records. Remember, what you can measure is what you can manage. True. And you see, you want to, you want to, at the end of it, all you want to have money out of your activities. Mm -hmm. So you can only keep proper records, you know. And we have a tool that we'll be sharing some images about the tool, again, on what it is. So types of farm records that you should keep, you remember that as you're doing business, then you're, you're not existing in an island. You're not existing in an island. And existing in an island simply means that you are only, whatever you're doing is only important for you. Yeah, not, but not benefiting others. Other people. Like, yeah. any, it's, a, it's a lie. Because as you a farmer, you're something. producing food yeah. for other people. Yeah. So number one, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that they, 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 they benefit from your activities. True. And the only way you benefit from activities is to records. I never used to keep records. You know, if you don't keep records, yes. let me ask you a question. Mm. You always have a plan for the day. Yeah. The same thing farmers need to do. Yes. Keep your records, mm -hmm. know what to do, yes. when to do, and how, and to, how do. to do yes so that will help you uh, to know my cow <laughs> <laughs> or my crop need to be uh, sprayed at the end unafika kwa shamba unaambiwa hakuna fertilizer hakuna fertilizer because how to plan how to plan au unajeka record au kujeka record sasa ujui gani inatumika ama uliweka record last week na ukasahau ama uliweka record mbaya so one of the things that we saw as we mentioned financial records are very important but now we always need some money to pump into the farm, you know. So one of the things is like loan applications. If you're doing a loan application, you need to make sure if you want to expand your business or you want an emergency one, you yeah. know, you have to keep that record. what? You see, the only way you can be able to determine what you need is by making sure that you have records that will be needed to verify if your business is performing well yeah. as required. So that at the end of your loan, if you go to, to a financial institution, 
the last ask, for the records records because they, they, for them they're not emotional you're emotional about your farm fantastic yeah. you have passion you have that that is fine but passion cannot be measured you know in fact another way of measuring your passion is how you can be able to keep those records properly the other thing is management purposes if you have good farm records huh, this will enable you to plan and manage your farm efficiently yeah you know as we saw that very good image there you know we can see this is what it is this is how it looks like you know and we'll be sharing some of this uh, uh, from what 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 it does you know and so just to jump on uh, jump jump onto that before we go for a break we want to start discussing something very critical this this particular show has been sponsored by farmers networks and farmers networks is actually a mobile application of farming of farmers which it can enable you to be able to keep all your records to understand what is happening around your farm it helps you understand who you are dealing with you know it, it has a very it has very good features you know this particular why i'm saying it has good features is because <laughs> this app was created by farmers networks mm -hmm. and you know it helps you get to do so many things you know it helps you understand so many things and as you can see on your screen it helps you to be able to keep your records i don't know if you can be able to just zoom in a bit uh, i don't know if our direct can be able to zoom in now you can actually go to play store google play store as of, at the moment it's still yet uh, android they'll be launching it in, a, in, a, in the next few so <clears throat> what what exactly we are actually saying is that we can very interestingly uh, be able to uh, use this probably we can be able to yes so we can be able just to play that video that shows about the farmers networks what it does and then we will with this we'll be able to after this we'll be able to go for a break and when we come back we'll just go into each and specific parts of this particular show to see whether or not oh, oh sorry of the app to see whether or not it can be able to be important for you but as as we do this and uh, as as we the keep, as, as the, our viewers are actually seeing the importance of this particular app we want to discuss something else very critical do farmers need do you do farmers have data do I farmers think, have data i think we have day in day out data in what kile wameenda kwa shamba akaona siku hiyo that's what they keep wana 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 ka hiyo in their brain in their mind and <laughs> at the end of the day yeah. wakisha lala mm -hmm. i think they forget because after, after some times yes. because I, i'm checking a crop is affected yes with a certain disease yes they sow it uh -huh. in the farm yes. during the day yeah. in the evening yes they decide now should i spray this or should i <laughs> wait and see if it will uh, uh, revive itself or heal itself but you see now they did, mm -hmm. now that they didn't have any records they can't remember to and then buy. this uh, disease affects other crops mm. so by the end of the week mm -hmm. the whole farm is affected so they won't remember and that's when they will start rushing yes they don't have records of when yes. the diseases uh, started yes or when the infection uh, the affected crop was affected hey. so they will start rushing uh, they will rush to the agrovet now say uh, my crop uh, having abcd uh, and i can't remember when it started you exactly. see they need they need to keep that record. yes even photography you know you, you add a photo of what is happening in the farm yeah and also just to market your produce you yeah. know and that's one of the things the farmers networks is an app will be able to help you develop a digital business card for yourself and your farm to be able to tell people who you are what you're growing where you are what what your farm is like so these records are very important you know so why the reason we're keeping these records again just to do a recap is that the requirement of maintaining uh, records is very important number one when you're doing crops especially for export you need to keep a record a proper record of what pesticide you used what how did you use them why did you use them so it's basically a justification of your activities on the farm actually there's a decify of useful uh, records mm -hmm. uh, or record keeping mm -hmm such as production yes. financial mm -hmm. transaction in a dairy enterprise yes, or day yes. to day enterprise yes, yes. many are not difficult to collect yes. I, I i bet to understand that uh -huh, uh -huh. they are not hard to collect you see, if, just, you, if you do it every you, day yeah you know you, you get used to actually and it becomes a, a habit yes we've been told here that if you do if you take 10 minutes 10 to 20 minutes mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. ah you're, you're okay 
farmer, farmers should not tire to get into no, their farms, no, check, no. Uh, scout. It's your business. Daily. Yeah, you know, that's it's your, your office. It's your business. If that's yeah. your office. That's your, your where you make your money. Unless mm-hmm. you just do it as a hobby, mm-hmm. and if you do it as a hobby, it will be a to live. Prediction of rainfall, weather patterns. Mm-hmm. Definitely, if you keep your records properly, you'll be able to know what right. what happened last year. Yeah, you know, but now what, uh, around you should check like five years back what yes. was happening in there. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Most important, your your income track. Your, it helps you track your income and expenditure. How much are you making from the farm? Mm-hmm. How much are you spending? Is it important to spend? You have to justify why you're spending it, as well as why do you do this? You know, and and as as you do as as you do your sprays, it helps you understand. For example, if you're talking mm-hmm. about uh, production, what particular uh, f- foliar fertilizer, what particular fertilizer are you using, what particular product do you need? You know, and and as we mm-hmm. discuss this, what is coming to my mind very critically is omnia fertilizers. You know, they have products for different stages of sure. the crop. You yeah. know, you have the rhizoveta, which is a which is a brilliant brilliant. Mm-hmm. Having talked to a few farmers and gotten feedback. Mm-hmm. It is a brilliant product, rise of Eta, which helps your your crops develop uh, roots, you know, strong roots, yeah. so that the stronger the roots, you know, the stronger the body, the healthier yeah. it is, the easier yeah. for you to consume, to be able to actually even to eat. And you, produce. Yes, and be able to... production <laughs> <laughs> So the healthier you are, the better you are, you know, and if, you're, uh, if, if your, ro- your crops have strong roots... Yeah. They can be able to take this. So, again, this is a product by Omnia Fertilizers. You know, it's called Rhizoveta, a brilliant, brilliant, very brilliant product that you can be able to use. Remember, if you need these uh, uh, products, uh, we will be sharing a number right now that you can be able to call if you need that. Um, yes, so the n- number that you can call is 0715-773-043. I repeat the number again if you want the Rhizoveta from Omnia Omnia. Fertilizers, the number to call is 0715-773-043. And you'll get a very, uh, very friendly voice behind that number. And will guide you in terms of how much you need to use, where you need to get, and how how you can be able to get Rise of Eta from Omnia Fertilizers. And also tell them Mm -hmm. which uh, product of Omnia product they will use. You see, there is Rise of Eta. Yes. And also? Oh, a mega kelpie yeah tell them that you don't get now okay sure. we'll talk about that tomorrow yeah. yes so thank you for having stayed tuned with us right here from a farmer's uh, a farmer's breakfast show we have talked about record keeping this is a discussion that we continue to keep talking about it we'll be inviting you to a product product testing of farmers networks this friday right here in our offices so keep it locked. Remember that uh, we as a farmer's media want you as a farmer to, and other stakeholders in the industry to be able to connect, learn and grow together. This has been your breakfast show. Unaambia watu ni kama tunaenda ba. Ndio watu keep safe. Kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa. Kabisa. Vaccinate you. Yes. We need them. Yes. Farmer keep uh, growing and keeping records. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that. Yes. So this again it has been your host Noana Sele Kadima and uh, James Merara. To Onane Kesho, same time, we want to, tomorrow we'll discuss something very interesting. And about to discuss intercropping. What can we whisper? Intercropping. Yes, we'll be discussing a very important point tomorrow because as we continue farming, there are things that we need to do to be able to beat the weather, play around with the climate, mm-hmm. play around with the soil. We'll discuss more on this. See you tomorrow.